and welcome by the Orchid Saga and welcome uh, by uh, this new video, this new care collab that we uh, make for you guys today and today it's me and uh, Nina Nina from uh, Ninja Orchids um, with the both of us we are going to uh, make this care collab and on this, uh, for me it's a beautiful sunny day and that is really what this uh, plant in particular likes so, uh, and we I'm just going to show her here where she stands above the shelf. It's, we're going to talk about this one as he is in bloom. And uh, so we have a little bit of idea that this one is really getting uh, quite some nice light. It's Cattleya and uh, Cattleyas in general uh, like their lights. But I'm going to show you the tag and you already saw the title of course. But this is the uh, Cattleya Siamese Doll Kitty. And you see the date here. This is uh, the four. Uh, this, the four is for April the second. So we write it down the other way than uh, than the most of you do in uh, America. Um, but in Europe, it's uh, the second of uh, April to uh, twenty one. Yes. So I don't have it for that long, but it's uh, it's a beautiful orchid, and uh, I really, I really am happy this one uh, decided to, to bloom. So let's take it inside the orchid room and have a closer look at this plant itself. Well, I thought before we go any further, let's start with this beautiful bloom. I really liked the, the dots and uh, on the sepals and the petals. Those have a, a very dark purple color. I'm not completely sure how it will show up on camera. Uh, I'm watching the screen of the camera and it looks a little bit that it's a bit lighter um, showing up on camera than in real life. It's a bit darker, but uh, and also the lip. This uh, this part of the lip is uh, especially is very dark, and in uh, my camera says uh, says that it's a little bit lighter. <laughs> but uh, I apologize. This is what I uh, the best that I can do. But I like the contrast. The, this lip portion and the inner section of the plant and then the contrast with the sepals and the petals is, is yeah, I think very beautiful. It really is um, almost like two different worlds, worlds combined but it's a really, yeah, for me it's a very happy uh, happy bloom. I don't know, uh, because of the shape I think, it's really uh, does look and, and feels waxy. So the blooms has a waxy feel to them and a, a waxy look if you ask me. But um, yeah, I really, really like the shapes uh, of the sepals and the petals as well. They're a little bit uh, different, but not that much. And these are, as you can see, my fingers. So it's a fairly, fairly nice sized bloom. It's not incredibly big, but it's not small either. It's a beautiful uh, size, I think. And you can see in the background here, I have uh, another one. This is my second bud. And... I think this one uh, opened up the first and then uh, this one in the front. So, uh, so yeah, those are the blooms. Very happy with it. As, you, uh, as we already dis discussed, I don't have it that long. So I was uh, surprised that this one uh, did bloom already. But um, So yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look at uh, more at the plant itself. But I thought, yeah, let's start with the uh, beautiful portion uh, of this uh, plant. And uh, those are obviously the blooms. Well, I said obviously the blooms, but I must admit I really like the spotting on uh, on the leaves as well. And it did give me uh, these spots on the new growth. Before that, well, it has I think a few, but not that much. So I think it uh, really enjoys being here. I think the amount of light is suited. Most of the times, then they show uh, spotting in the leaves better. I see this with the fells as well. And it could have another bud, but that I think that one broke off. And that's okay, because it has two blooms, and it has some roots here, as you can see, some growing still, but not much. And I even have one root here that is uh, did die off again. I have a good one here as well, that one is going for the reservoir. So, not much roots. We have a few older ones there, but it didn't came with much root. So in that case, yeah, I did let it bloom, 
but maybe perhaps it would be better if I uh, had, hadn't let it bloom but I will keep an eye on it and it's, it looks a little bit desiccated but I think that's the shape of the balls, bulbs um, uh, the canes, I'm sorry the canes as well and that's because they are rigid, They're, they have almost the same thickness and when they are um, dehydrated it's not as, as beautiful as this quotation mark there because I really like thick shiny canes and bulbs but anyhow I think this is a sort of trait for this plant as well but absolutely something to keep in mind so if I see it shriveling up more or the leaves are getting soft these leaves are really hard so that's a good sign as well but if they're going softer or they starting to look dehydrated I absolutely immediately will take off the blooms but so far I think it is okay I must admit it's yeah sometimes you're not really sure but I I'm really happy that I had a chance to see these blooms and to show them of course in this care collab I'm really happy to making this one this care collab so but this, this is a bit of care information that the thought press uh, thought process uh, be behind it what to do do we leave the blooms on do we take it off but uh, now you know how I, uh, how, I, how I go about that, uh, that subject. I just really keep a close eye on this orchid and uh, as, as soon as I see signs of dehydration I will absolutely take it off. But I think it's, uh, it's okay and especially because those roots are still growing so that means those will uh, go in the pot eventually and uh, yeah I will hope it, uh, it makes a new growth and starts making new roots but it didn't put out much to begin with so I uh, obviously have it uh, growing in pumice well at least I, I think you recognize it I really uh, am a big fan of pumice and I have a top layer of pebbles to avoid a dry top layer but I uh, do prefer the pumice a bit more than, than Lekka just a personal preference there I and mean, as you can see we see a dead root there as well so that's not not really good so what I do, um, I don't flush them, I do, do not flush my uh, plants if they don't need it. And by that um, I mean I only flush and then grab the outer pot here because I had it standard on the, on the floor. I will measure the pH of this water and the parts per million. Um, you see me do that uh, quite often if you are uh, familiar or subscribed to my channel, but for those who are new, um, this is a yeah. This is a care collapse. So this is my care. I will check this uh, reservoir and I will uh, be back and we're going to talk about the results and if I have to change anything or not. So I did uh, check the reservoir and this time I didn't film it. I don't want to make it too boring. Personally, I like it, but I know that not everyone likes uh, uh, growers that constantly are measuring uh, the pH and parts per million. So I try to mix it up a little bit. But uh, this one had a pH uh, of 7 and a parts per million reading of 124. So that's beautiful. I like to have my pHs in the pots around 7 to 7.5 and at least underneath 200 parts per million. That's, uh, that's how I grow without flushing. And my plants are doing well, really well uh, by this method. And I take, uh, yeah, this uh, sort of. I yeah, created this this method, my own customized uh, self watering is uh, like I like I uh, call I like to call it. But uh, over the the last three years, I had my struggles, and then I discovered because I don't I don't flush in about uh, five to six months. If you keep the parts per million uh, low, so you don't have the uh, the salt built up, your pH is probably going to drop. So we need something to get that pH back up again. I use uh, calcium, garden lime powder, and uh, that in, uh, in a little bit in the reservoir. If it's too low, that works wonders for me. And the nice thing of the garden lime is that it's calcium and magnesium, so it's also good for your plants as well. They can uptake it uh, if they want it, of course. But it also keeps the pH up around seven, seven point five. And I do this measurement every three to four months so I keep always my eye on uh, the reservoir if uh, in between I like to check my plants I cannot check all of them but 
uh, let's say if I grab this one because I thought mm, I see some good roots but the other ones are not doing so well this will be a sign to have a look in a pot and once again that's why I'm really happy with the transparent pot so I can have a look and if I'm not completely sure as I would with this one I'm go just going to check I'm going to measure the reservoir in between if everything is okay I know the problem isn't there but probably this plant has been through a, uh, through a lot and it's a young plant so I just need to slow it down not to expect too much of it try to get it to grow and the more blooms the stronger and the more roots will come but it needs to be in a happy place to start growing and have faith in the future let's put it like that <laughs> how about that but I hope you uh, understand what I mean by that so yeah, this is uh, again in the greenhouse. This is the section for my Cattleya uh, types mostly and some other plants that really like uh, highlights. Like uh, for example the Catecidiae, they're uh, in the right hand corner. But um, yeah, I have this greenhouse for about a year now and I really um, enjoy uh, Cattleyas but I couldn't grow them in, indoors. But I had four of them and I did manage to rebloom one uh, when I grew, grew them indoors but now in a greenhouse from the four I have two others that I did uh, ha uh, yeah get managed to rebloom and one I'm still waiting on it's that big one but yeah I now like I said I have a more suited space for them they get a really bright light during the day the temperatures I keep uh, around at least 18 uh, in the eve uh, in at night and I try to do that in in winter as well, so I have to heat up the greenhouse a little bit, sometimes a bit more. But and during the day, well, it can get here around 30, and I try to uh, when it does get around 30, I try to get in a, a much fresh air from outside. There's the door, so I have a ventilator in front of it that's currently running, but I now have the door closed because it's not that warm. But in summer, I get fresh air in and that's how I at least for this year managed to get it uh, to keep a nice temperature you don't want to overdo it but this one uh, gets uh, fairly high temperatures this uh, Siamese doll and other Cattleyas because they, uh, they really enjoy it so yeah I think I covered probably everything about about the care I do have a fertilizer video on my channel already so if you're really into uh, getting no uh, yeah to know more about the fertilizers that I use and the products I really encourage you to to watch that one and I will link it in this uh, this video so you can check it out but otherwise this uh, calculator would go way too uh, uh, get way too big so therefore I keep it uh, like uh, for this for so far uh, the only thing that I can say is as you can see the yeah, I'm not promoting the alo but I have alo pots I really like the gray ones and the black ones and I just buy an inner pot translucent with a water meter so I can always check uh, the water level it's a little bit hard to show on this one but here is a uh, nice this uh, I call this water meters indicators you can call it so this ready stripy thing if it goes up it means there's water in the reservoir so it's if it really is down that means that there is no water so that's uh, how I like to grow my orchids so I can uh, almost in one blink of an eye I can see if they need water or not like the neighbor of this si uh, Siamese doll you can see there's a little teeny tiny red spot there that means that this one needs water so yeah I think this is it for uh, for this care collab I really enjoyed making it I hope you liked it uh, this care collab as well please let me know you can uh, do a thumb thumbs up of course and if you didn't already have if you want to I would really happy that you would uh, subscribe to my channel I try to post uh, at least once a week but most of the times it's uh, twice a week so uh, I really enjoy making these videos and uh, having the requests etc so if you uh, liked it as well uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel thank you for watching guys if you have any questions or comments <laughs> leave them in the comment section below this video and I will get to them as soon as I can thank you bye bye